Exploring life on topological surfaces, or in non-Euclidean spaces, is important, because it pushes the boundaries of how we understand the adaptability of life and the potential for its existence beyond Earth. While such environments may seem abstract or purely theoretical, they align with real scientific inquiries into the nature of space-time and the conditions under which life might arise. For instance, in general relativity, space-time itself is curved, and certain celestial phenomena, like black holes or warped regions around massive stars, naturally involve non-Euclidean geometries. If life can adapt to extreme environments on Earth, such as deep-sea hydrothermal vents or acidic hot springs, why not consider its adaptability in curved or topologically exotic spaces? Theoretical environments like Mobius strips or hyperbolic geometries allow scientists to explore how life might evolve in response to different physical laws, resource distributions, and energy dynamics. This perspective broadens our search for extraterrestrial life and prepares us to think about habitats beyond traditional planetary surfaces. It also has implications for understanding fundamental principles of biology, evolution, and physics in unusual contexts, potentially revealing universal traits of life or unlocking new insights into the interaction of biology and geometry. By considering life in these exotic spaces, we are not only expanding our imagination, but also refining the frameworks that guide astrobiology, cosmology, and synthetic biology. Non-Euclidean spaces are critical in understanding the curvature of the universe. These geometries arise naturally in relativity, where massive objects warp spacetime. In hyperbolic space, distances grow exponentially with SEPAX every aspect of an environment from light propagation to the shape of potential habitats. For life, these geometries impose unique evolutionary pressures. Movement, resource distribution, and even perception would differ drastically from the familiar Euclidean framework. Movement, resource distribution, and even perception would differ drastically from the familiar Euclidean framework. Gravitational effects might create regions of varying curvature, forming habitable valleys where life could emerge and thrive. The curvature could also affect fundamental physical constants, influencing chemical reaction rates, molecular bonding, and even the stability of atoms in different regions of curved space. This could lead to regional biochemistries tailored to specific topological constraints. Mobius strips and Klein bottles are examples of manifolds with unusual connectivity. These surfaces defy conventional orientation, creating continuous loops where creatures might evolve traits for navigating these seamless environments. Topologically, they exist as mathematical abstractions, but could represent actual physical environments in higher dimensional or string theoretical contexts. The absence of distinct boundaries challenges the evolutionary development of territoriality, shelter, and mating behaviors. Life forms might exploit the unique resource distributions or pathways that such surfaces create, potentially utilizing every inch of their environment due to its non-orientable nature. The Klein bottle's unique topology could allow for novel forms of fluid dynamics and material transport, with implications for nutrient circulation and waste removal. These environments could also host exotic electromagnetic or quantum field patterns, influencing biological processes. Energy transfer in curved spaces follows unique rules dictated by the geometry of space-time. Light and heat propagation are governed by geodesics, paths that minimize or extremize the action in a curved environment. In such a context, gravitational lensing could focus energy into localized hot spots, potentially creating oases for life. Conversely, in hyperbolic spaces, energy might dissipate more rapidly due to the geometry's expansive nature. The thermodynamic constraints imposed by curvature could force life to evolve highly efficient energy harvesting mechanisms, perhaps incorporating novel biomaterials or quantum effects. The interplay between curvature and thermodynamics may also alter phase transitions, influencing climate and habitat formation. Curved spaces might also modify electromagnetic wave propagation, affecting how organisms perceive light and sound. 
these distortions could be leveraged by evolved sensory systems, enabling more effective energy acquisition or predator detection. Metabolic systems depend on the flow of energy and nutrients, processes deeply tied to spatial dynamics. In higher dimensional spaces, metabolic efficiency could change dramatically due to altered diffusion laws. In 3D, diffusion scales with the square of the distance, but in higher dimensions, the relationship becomes more complex. Additional spatial freedom could enable faster transport of molecules, enhancing metabolic rates. Conversely, extreme curvature might impose bottlenecks on these processes. The energy landscape in such environments could also influence metabolic pathways, potentially favoring nonlinear or quantum-optimized biochemical cycles. Organisms might evolve to use higher dimensional shortcuts for nutrient acquisition, creating entirely new classes of biochemistry. In exotic spaces, metabolic intermediates might exhibit unique properties due to altered physical constants or field effects. These changes could open the door to forms of life incompatible with Earth-based biochemistry, but perfectly adapted to their environments. Sensory systems in higher dimensions would need to process information from a fundamentally expanded reality. For example, vision in 4D could encompass hypervolumes where every slice of an object is visible simultaneously. This would require complex neural architectures capable of handling vastly increased data inputs. Other senses, such as touch or hearing, might also adapt to interpret phenomena like vibrations or fields in higher dimensions. Quantum mechanics could play a pivotal role in these sensory adaptations. Entangled particles might allow for instantaneous information transfer across dimensions, enabling creatures to sense events or objects inaccessible to lower dimensional beings. The evolution of these systems might involve leveraging higher dimensional physics, such as tunneling or resonance effects, for detection and interaction. These higher dimensional adaptations could extend beyond mere survival, significantly influencing aspects such as communication methods, reproductive strategies, and the social structures of these creatures, shaping their interactions and societal organization. Locomotion in curved or topologically unusual spaces requires adapting to geodesics, which represent the straight line paths in curved geometry. In hyperbolic spaces, creatures might evolve elongated or spiral forms to efficiently traverse expanding regions. In spherical environments, compact circular movements might dominate, allowing efficient exploration of finite spaces. Non-orientable surfaces, such as Mobius strips, could give rise to locomotion strategies that exploit the surface's unique connectivity. Organisms might use continuous looping paths to maximize energy efficiency, effectively treating the environment as infinite despite its finite nature. Locomotion could also involve exploiting gravitational or electromagnetic anomalies inherent in such spaces. Creatures might develop field-sensitive appendages or propulsion mechanisms that tap into the underlying topology for movement. Evolution in exotic topologies would proceed under unique constraints, shaping life in ways unimaginable in Euclidean environments. Genetic drift, migration, and selection pressures would be profoundly influenced by the topology. For instance, in a toroidal space, gene flow might follow circular pathways, creating distinct population structures. In non-orientable spaces, traits that exploit the surface's seamless connectivity might dominate. Adaptive behaviors and physical structures might also reflect the environment's geometry. Predators in curved spaces might evolve to ambush prey along geodesics, while prey might develop evasive strategies utilizing shortcuts or loops. Topological constraints might lead to the emergence of entirely new evolutionary paradigms, such as traits that exploit field interactions or higher dimensional phenomena. Evolutionary timescales could also differ, as isolated pockets of resources might accelerate or decelerate natural selection. Communication in curved or exotic spaces would require organisms to adapt to distorted wave propagation. Signals such as sound, light, or electromagnetic waves would follow geodesics, potentially looping or scattering in unexpected ways. 
This could lead to the evolution of directional or multi-frequency signaling strategies. Resonance effects in non-orientable spaces might amplify certain frequencies, allowing for efficient long-range communication. Organisms could exploit these resonances, evolving vocalizations or signal patterns tailored to the environment. The topology could also influence the speed and fidelity of information transfer, creating evolutionary pressures for redundancy or error correction mechanisms in signaling systems. Complex ecosystems might arise, with organisms using signals to manipulate or exploit each other. Nine ecosystems in multidimensional topologies. Scientific explanation. Ecosystems in higher dimensions or exotic topologies would feature unique interactions among organisms. Predator-prey dynamics might extend across dimensions, with ambushes or escapes occurring in ways unimaginable in 3D. Resource distribution might be highly non-linear creating localized ecosystems with distinct evolutionary pressures. Energy flow and nutrient cycles in these ecosystems could be influenced by topological constraints, with certain areas acting as hubs or bottlenecks. This could lead to specialized roles for organisms, much like the division of labor in social insects. Ecosystem stability might depend on the topology's resilience to perturbations, with feedback loops and cascades potentially extending across dimensions. Such systems might evolve unique forms of mutualism or competition, shaping life in extraordinary ways.